Hello again and welcome to the third video of my What Went Wrong With series. This video is entirely made out of trailer footage and some in-game footage, but uh, the trailer footage is from a trailer video I made earlier this year, because I can be asked to make an entirely new video based upon in-game footage. Besides, the footage from these trailers show perfectly what they promised us and what the game would actually look like. Now this trailer I made was made before the release of the actual game, back when I was actually still uh, very excited about the game release, but I came back from a very cold shower. And to show you what I mean, I'll just jump forward immediately to the first point. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these trailers in the background show us exactly how they promised what the game would look like at release date. This includes footage from the gameplay demo that Gearbox released prior to the release. Now, what you can easily notice in the demo gameplay is that there was a lot more atmosphere and better graphics. Even the scenery looked like they came from the actual movies. And I have to say it looked very credible as how they promised that the game would look like. It was actually a demo gameplay. So that's basically what you base your opinion on and think that the actual game would look like. Now what did we get in return? It stinks. Even the alien AI looked a lot smarter and faster in the demo gameplay. Oh my god. Not to mention they actually cut out the parts from these clips from the final game. These missing parts include this air vent. This part where you protect a power loader and the alien queen appears. Focus, look at me! How many fingers am I holding? And you giving the finger to your superior officer. He's fine. Or you could compare these two clips which are basically the same sequence in the game. Get to the umbilical! Now what I asked myself in the end was, how can you expect as a company to let your customers take you seriously after taking such a dump on them? What surprised me even more was that this game was able to sell nearly 1.5 million copies, which proves that their forced embargo or boycott as you will, to hold back any reviews until after the release actually worked. Now this was deliberately done so that as many people as possible could be ripped off during the pre-order period before the bad reviews could be released. So that's deliberately lying to your customers so that you can squeeze as many juice as possible from them before they realize your product sucks. After the horrible release and review, suddenly Gearbox was trying to divert the bad attention away from them towards Timegate Studios by saying that it was all their fault that this game became so bad. But what I don't understand from this is how in God's name can Gearbox employees promote a game and saying how awesome it is and how delighted the fans will be when it's released, but then when things go south actually deny their participation in it. No, Some of them the even I, I dare to claim that they never even touched career. the game, but how can you say that the game is awesome if you haven't played it? In the end some rumors came out that Randy Pitchford actually admitted that some of the pre-order earnings from Aliens Colonial Marines went towards the development of Borderlands 2. After several weeks Gearbox released a 4GB large patch which improved very little to the game considering its size which came way too late as well, and although it fixed some minor graphical issues, it never came close to the original demo footage. I guess the only reason they released that patch was to make people buy their 4 DLC packs that came out in the year that followed the release. Now together with Duke Nukem Forever, this is already the second franchise that is ruined by the hands of Gearbox. My suggestion is that if you wanna buy something from Gearbox, stick with Borderlands alone. It is a great game and Gearbox should stick to what they do best, instead of trying to earn money off the backs of well-established franchises. Personally, as soon as I see Gearbox release another game that's non-related to Borderlands, I'll just instantly ignore it. Game over, man! It's game over! Now the final verdict of this game's rights and wrongs. I'll see you guys next time.